a patient's story doesn't end with them being put in an ambulance and taken to hospital, even on the operating table, there can be more emergencies. When a hospital runs out of blood or needs specialist surgical equipment to save a life, they call in the blood bikes. Some ambulance services ferry blood, but they're swamped with call-outs. Britain's blood bikes are a rapid response lifeline. Around the clock, the bikers crisscross the country, rushing urgent supplies, lab results and medical equipment to wherever they're needed. One of the most urgent I've actually had to take um, is a request to pick up some surgical equipment from one of the children's hospitals, take it to another one, and as I walked through the door, they grabbed it off of me and basically said, great, we need this. The poor little baby is actually on the operating table, ready and waiting. Mel Rope is one of the Bristol blood bikers. The blood biker service is entirely voluntary, and accountant Mel gives up one weekend a month to work around the clock in any weather, rushing critical medical supplies from hospital to hospital. So, where am I going from? Her first call out today is to a children's ward. Neonatal St Michael's pick up um, syringes, medical equipment to go to... The bikers don't have a central HQ, but work from their own homes. They ride BMW R1200 RTs, the same bikes as the Essex Cops, complete with blue lights and sirens. The journey to St Michael's Hospital takes Mel from her home in the suburbs, right into the heart of Bristol. The bikes can cut through the traffic faster than any car or van, essential when delivering urgent blood. This is St Michael's Hospital, so we're going to go in now and find out where the antenatal is and actually go up and actually collect the equipment that we need to take with us down to Bath. The equipment that Mel is here to pick up is needed to treat premature babies. These are the syringes that we had to pick up. But while Mel was inside, she's received a priority job, which she can do on the way to the neonatal unit. What I've got to do is go and meet our seven freewheelers, which is the other guys up the north of the patch. Do a pickup from them, which needs to go to French which is local. And then once we finish French we can then go on and go over to Bath to complete the, the non-urgent job. Blood samples have been taken from a patient in Gloucester, and they need to be rushed to a pathology lab. French A Hospital on the outskirts of Bristol is home to a specialist rapid diagnosis lab which supports their trauma centre. The results of the blood tests could mean the patient in Gloucester getting the correct treatment just in the nick of time. This one's a relay job. The blood's been picked up by Jeff Brown from the Gloucester Blood Bikers. Okay, samples for um, French A. French A, lovely. Okay. Mel will take it on to its Bristol destination. Nationwide, there are 10 blood bike organisations. Between them, they operate a crucial service, which not only saves lives, but saves the NHS hundreds of thousands of pounds every year. Civil servant Jeff Brown has been working for the blood bikers for three years. We carry mainly blood samples. We carry whole blood, x-rays, hospital equipment. But we're running about 250 jobs a month and we have three bikes on the road all year round. If we weren't providing this service, the NHS would be using taxis. You know, I see it as well, perhaps it's an extra nurse, or another piece of hospital equipment, which can only help improve the NHS. And it's, it's the opportunity to put something back into society. Mel has arrived at French A Hospital and is making her deliveries. It's been a long day, one job turned into four, and she's not finished yet. You never know, and that's the whole point with this. You could have 60 calls across a weekend, which means you're on the road permanently, or you could have two in the morning, two late evening. You're here, you're on call, you commit your time. You just have to be prepared for whatever's going to be on the end of the phone. Just delivering a package, come down from seven free readers for you. Thank you. It's all rewarding. Obviously, at the end of the day, we'll save someone's life or, or make, help someone make a crucial decision. After the break.